Whether you want to get ahead for next semester, you have a bad teacher, or you just want to learn something new, there are plenty of online math resources out there. But when it comes to organization, it can be tough to figure out where you should look and what you need to learn next. So I'm hoping this video simplifies that for you. If you're impatient, just click the link below in the description. Otherwise, there are a few things I want to say to make sure this is clear to everyone. Personally, to take a new math class, I would like the lectures, a textbook, and practice problems ideally with solutions. And I tried to gather all of that for as many math classes as possible and put it all in one place. So before moving forward, let's just look at the page that I made. Okay, I tried to make this as easy as I possibly could. So let's say you want to take Calc 1. It's listed first right here. For most of them, I have the prereqs listed, like you see here for Calc 2. And I also have what majors will take these classes. So for Calc 1, all engineers take it, computer scientists, math majors, physics, chem, bio, and even business majors who have to take business calc. Then as you can see, I have two sets of lectures. My personal favorite is Professor Leonard's, but I also listed MIT's Open Courseware. Then there's assignments with and without solutions, and I also listed two textbooks, so you have some options there. Then if you click one of these lectures, it will take you to the playlist with all the Calc 1 videos. As you can see, they start with lines and angles of inclination, then some functions, trig review, and then they get into limits. And if you go to the assignments, which I picked Paul's online math notes, you can see a bunch of subjects where they start with functions, trig functions, and then they get into limits. And if you click one of these, like tangent lines, rates of change, it will take you to a bunch of practice problems, where as you can see, you can scroll through a bunch of them, and each one has its own solution that you can use to help you. Then as you can see, I did the same thing for Calc 2, Calc 3, Linear Algebra, and so on, telling you guys which majors take these classes, then giving you the lectures, assignments, and textbooks. But you get the idea, so check out the link in the description below. Now, I was really just looking for lectures and assignments I found most useful, but I want this to be as helpful as possible. So if I find better lectures or you guys know of any, please let me know and I'll add or replace the ones I have now. Therefore, depending on when you watch this video, the page might look a little different than what you saw earlier. Also, some of the assignments don't exactly match the lectures like you saw with Paul's online math notes. So the topics might be a little out of order, but everything you need is still there. Then for people watching who are in math, physics, or engineering, or soon will be, assuming you have the prereqs, a good order to go in is Calc 1, 2, 3, then differential equations, and then linear algebra. And that actually covers a majority of the math classes that many engineers will take. However, for example, at some universities, electrical engineers and physics majors are required to take complex analysis, which I do have listed on the page. So just be sure to be aware of what's required for you if your goal is to get ahead. Yes, if you're majoring in physics, certain types of engineering, or even computer science, there are more required math courses for you, but just note the ones I listed are guaranteed for pretty much anyone in a STEM-related field. The math majors, of course, have many more math classes to take, and as they get more advanced, it gets harder and harder to find online lectures and matching assignments. However, I was able to find some advanced courses like Real Analysis and Abstract Algebra, but just know at least at the time of making this video, the assignments don't exactly match what you'll see in the lectures. And before I end this video, I have to mention this because I know a lot of people will be motivated to get ahead. If you just sit back and start watching the lectures without doing assignments, you will be confused within likely three lectures at most. Even if you do the assignments, there will be lectures where you finish and say, what did I just watch? Because they'll confuse you and that's where people give up. But remember, everything is online and can be re-watched. Plus you have a lot of other material all over the internet to help you. I've gone through some of these, and if you get confused by a lecture, I recommend reading the textbook and getting a slightly different perspective. Then return to the lecture and see if you understand it better. Also read the assignments and look at what kind of questions are being asked so you can actively look and listen for material needed to solve those problems. Try not to move on if you are confused because it will only get worse. Especially if you're just trying to get ahead, there's way less pressure. Be patient and really try to learn the material. Treat it like it's a real class and it will build good habits of not giving up when things get difficult. But that's about it for this video. I really hope this makes it easier for you to get ahead or just gives you options if you have a bad teacher. Of course, leave your comments below if you'd like to see anything else. If you'd like to support the channel, links are also in the description. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.